Hello everybody, welcome to day 90 of my Wonder Day projects watching. So, the end is inside. Kinda. And today we're swatching, I'm swatching Schmenke Hard and Tundra Blue, which is a mixture of PB29 and PBR7. And I guess that's one, this one's gonna be a bit interesting to see. I've got three. PBR 7s on the go here. Oh no, hang on, one of them is PBR 8, I realized actually. The Rembrandt Greenish Umber is PBR 8. But I've got Rosa Gallery, Burnt Umber, and my Delamania Orange Ochre, which is also a PBR 7. But from the swatch now, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of the brown pigment in it, so maybe it's fairly easy. Let's see. So, okay, I'm starting with the Delamania orange ochre, just because I think that has a nice granulation to it. I think it granulates more than the Rosa Gallery Burnt Umber. So, I've got to label this quickly. So, I know what I've done. So yeah, I've got a few of the PBR7 mixes lined up, I think, for the next few days. Because I think it's going to be kind of interesting to see how you can, if you can get to uh, to the right color with different PBR7s. And I've got, I mean, Schmenke have two different PBR7s themselves, I think, that both supposedly granulate. I have to check if I have them, I'm not sure. Hmm. That's too blue. Let's see if I can add a bit more of this orange ochre in there and get it a bit. Also, maybe I should have checked that when I swatched my orange ochre mixes. I might have done something. I might have already have gotten fairly close to it. I can't remember what, which blues I used. This looks like it's not too far off. Let's let that dry for a bit. Let's try the rosa here. So this is Rosa Gallery Burnt Umber PBR7. I've also got a Rosa Gallery Umber PBR7, which is a bit weaker in tinting strength than this one though. Even though I think that one has more granulation than this one has. Like here in this watch, it doesn't seem to be... Although maybe you can't really tell very well from the stripes. So how is this? This might, looks like it might be fairly close. I'm also going to give the Rembrandt Greenish Umber a try, just because I'm curious. And that actually is also not very high in tinting strength, but it has some really nice granulation, actually. So let's have a look. This seems a bit too gray to me. This, hmm, I don't know. This looks okay. But this you can't really tell yet because it's still too wet. Hmm. 
It's kind of tricky because this one really seems to be kind of... It is very blue, but you can see some color separation there. So... I think we've got a couple of, this one looks close, this one looks close, this one looks close-ish, but none of them look quite like this. That's too much blue, I think. Yeah, let me know, let me know what you think, what, what is closest. Well, this isn't quite dry yet, so it's difficult to judge, but it doesn't look like this does it now but they're all I mean there's not one swatch here that I don't like but then I do like swatching ultramarine with the browns and earth reds so that's maybe not surprising and I guess for tomorrow I'll decide which PBR7 because it's going to be a three pigment mix that's going to be taking a little bit longer so I might just go with the Rosa Gallery. We'll see. Well anyway thank you very much for watching. Please give the video a like and if you enjoy watching people swatch and making color mixes and subscribe to my channel as well or at least consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you tomorrow for another mix. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now. Bye.